Hey, everybody decided to go quickly live here for 15 minutes. It's a big 1245 in California. You got a huge wave behind me. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Want to go live every day and help the best that I can. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to join me, uh, picking different times, different days. Great to see everybody. Here we are on a Sunday, midday. Hope everyone is healthy and happy. Jay Carlos, Fernanda, Rajat. Welcome, 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 Fergie. Welcome, Renus. Let's get some questions going. Whoever wants to join me, let's do that as well. I'm doing terrific, and I want everyone else to do terrific as well. Let's see here. Give me your questions. We'll start getting right to it. Uh, been blessed today. Here we go. Can we go live? I have a question regarding energy through social media. All right, cool. Let's do that. Oops. Uh, I'm getting on here. Let's see who we are. Hope I'm picking everyone. I'll go live. Let me know. Give me some questions. Going live. Welcome, Zachary. Um, hi. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Dave? Oh, you're fun. <laughs> it's David. going great, Zach. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, man. I can't believe you accepted my invite. That is so cool, man. Ah, uh, no problem. I just saw the famous Brian Schur is watching. So, if anyone doesn't know who he is, he's uh, Ti's partner and dear friend and Green Waver. So, I got a big Green Wave behind me. What's the uh, question, Zach? How can I help? Yeah, man. You know, I just wanna, uh, I just wanna ask you. What's something a businesses could do to kind of transition to the online world? You know, a lot of businesses, they might have feel like left behind. Maybe they're strictly a mom and pop for the last 30, 40, 50 years, and they have no online presence. What would you say they need to do right now? Yeah, if you're a brick and mortar, a mom and pop shop, number th one thing that you should do is go online and search every single product that you sell, every service that you sell, go ahead and search it and see how it's being sold online. Uh, okay. And then if you can't find that, then find any synergistic or supplementary products or services that are being sold online and then create a strategy how you can do it equal and then focus in on how you can do it better. And okay. the easiest way to get your business online is go ahead, Learn from what other people are doing. Learn how you are synergistic and supplementary to that. Make yourself equal, then make yourself better. And then go find a mentor or someone that's selling online to assist you so you can accelerate that. Does that sound fair? Yeah, that sounds great, man. No, I really appreciate it. Thank you for answering my question. Thanks for the work you're doing, spreading positivity. Everyone's like frantic, and I love that you're just, you know, sharing good news with people. So thank you. That's it, man. Happiness is the best disease. Let's share it with everybody. Thank you, yeah. Zach. <laughs> right on. Hey, Jakey Bakey. I saw Brian Schur. How to clean energy around money. Uh, look, money is an energy. So if you understand money is an energy, it's an object of energy that we put into the flow. And you need to have the correct relationship with that energy. You need to provide and think of it in the right way, act on it the right way, believe in it on the right way. Uh, and you will attract more and more of that. Is the world about to change? Is paper currency going to disappear? Look, paper currency has been disappearing, right? More and more is done digitally. And that trend had started far before the uh, accelerated change that we're going through and the uh, different compressed uncertainty that we're going through. So as we're going through uh, that shift, um, I'm not quite sure if paper currency will disappear completely. But remember, currency won't disappear. Money doesn't disappear. It may change forms, but it doesn't disappear. We want to speed up the flow of currency, of that monetary currency. Uh, can you left? Uh, let's see here. What is true success to you? Common question coming up to me. For me, success is the enjoyment of the consistent, everyday, persistent, without quit, pursuit of my potential. In case you missed that one, it is absolutely the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential and the ability to smile through that struggle, smile through that pursuit. Remember, there is no, sorry, Chris Gardner, who's a good friend of mine, there is no pursuit of happiness. Happiness is the pursuit. You need to enjoy the pursuit. You have to love and learn to love what you're doing. 
Uh, and that's the key to this entire journey. The life lessons will keep coming and they're gonna keep on coming until you'll join them. Let's see here. We're gonna get more people to join us. Get your questions ready. Love to have you on. Uh, jumping on here. Let's see, Kanye left. Harry, welcome. I saw you, Samir. Samir's gonna join my team. Uh, he's the newest addition to the hey, mod dude, squad. Dude. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? No way. Hey, um, yeah, you got I me. To first, yeah, I did, man. I just wanted to say thanks on behalf of everyone for all the help you've done um, and given everyone over Instagram, man. It's, you're a big influence to myself. And um, I just had a question. Um, recently, I've been really trying to have a relationship with my dad. And um, it hasn't really panned out. He's not in my life anymore. And um, I was wondering how you how you go about channeling your energy and focusing on the right things without letting it hold you back. Yeah. So, you know, I had ups and downs in the journey with my father. And the number one thing that helped me change that for me is, number one, I stopped trying to change my father. I focused in on <laughs> understanding him. Uh, and then, two... Uh, praying for his happiness, which includes forgiveness, right? I needed to forgive myself and that carried through me to forgive him. So understanding, praying for the happiness and forgiveness. Uh, the one thing that I will tell you that I made a mistake is mm -hmm. I stopped trying. Uh, yeah. You know, there's four, there's four things a parent wants to know. And no matter how you feel, disconnected, separate, with interference and corrosion between the connection between the two of you, anger, frustration, all of those feelings are yours. There's only one problem in the world and exists within you. The one mistake I did is I stopped trying. There's only these four things that I want you, and I don't care, you don't have to call them and tell them, but if you could text them or email them these four things every day, mm -hmm. there'll be no more attacking thoughts. There'll be healing thoughts and love. If you are love, he will be love to you, but here they are. Number one, that you're happy. Tell your dad every day how happy you are. Mm -hmm. Two, tell your dad how healthy you are, all right? You're happy, you're healthy. Tell your father that you love him. And two, that you appreciate something about him. Find a light, a love, a lesson. Nobody's all bad, nobody's mm -hmm. all bad. And when we look for the superpowers in the people that are closest to us, we end up getting those superpowers more of the time. Everybody has superpowers. They're full of love, light, and lessons. They may not always agree with us. They may hurt us because we care so much about them. If they didn't care about you, if you didn't care about them, it wouldn't hurt so bad. It wouldn't create such a separation. But if you follow my, my, my advice to understand, mm -hmm. to love, to pray for his happiness every day, if you don't have you know, the, the feelings to go ahead and call him and tell him, then text him or email him. You're happy. You're healthy. You're healthy. Yeah. You love him and appreciate something about him. I promise you, you will heal that relationship far faster and far greater than I did with my father. Does that sound fair? That does. And, and you're saying that any relationship is able to be healed? Yeah. Every relationship is able to heal. If you pray happiness and put light into it, one particle of light overcomes all millions of particles of darkness. You may not be able to reconcile relationship and the respect that you're hanging around that person and feel good all the time. It's okay to let people on and off of your trolley of life, let them come on and off. That's fine. But what mm -hmm. you want is no attacking thoughts, no wasted energy and emotion towards that relationship because it's okay. just going to hurt you. You don't forgive yeah, people. Me, don't forgive them because you, that he deserves it. Forgive them because you deserve it. Okay. Thanks David, man. That helps a lot. Awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Keep doing you, man. Sound. All right. You keep doing you, too. That's awesome. Thank you, everyone. Dan McGinnis, thank you. I see you on there. Enrique, hello. We're going to talk later today. I tried to get you, you a little bit after the time we scheduled, but I want to get uh, onto the Elevate Cruise. Uh, Enrique is a coaching client of mine, and I've been using uh, a product of his called Elevate. Uh, they got hot chocolate and coffee, but it's a happiness uh, product. <laughs> Never seen anything like it in my life, but... It truly is a happiness product, uh, and I take it every morning. Uh, check them out. Enrique, go ahead. Put your contact information up there. I'm a big fan of the happiness product. <laughs> Superpowers in everyone. Let me see if we can get to the questions here. Um, how to be productive in these days? Rajat, my man, that's a good question. Look, having and living life. Oh, look, we're getting, you're going to see me, I think. Um, having and living life with a lens of productivity 
uh, a lens of accessibility um, and a lens of gratitude. So uh, productivity is how much value. I'm looking for the light, the love, and the lessons, the productivity and everything. How much value can I bring to that person, to the sidewalk, to my home? You know, taking inventory of things is a great way to provide value right now and be productive. Be productive. Uh, relationships are good to be strained and stressed when we're stuck in the same homes with everybody. You go ahead, you gotta find that productivity lens, accessibility lens, being accessible to more people, accessing what you want more and being more grateful. Uh, it's a little bit tougher to be grateful when things are not going as planned, right? We have this fallacy that things are supposed to go as planned. You wanna make God laugh, come up with a well-developed plan. You wanna make you laugh, look at that plan with alignment, action, and adjustment. You wanna make you laugh, look for the light, love, and the lessons in all your plans. I uh, hope you guys get that one. Well, IG at Enrique Olazabo. There we go. That's my man. Drop your questions, everyone. Oh, my boy. I got my team on here. Is Brian Schur still on here? Go ahead, Brian. Go ahead. Give me a question. I think you need some advice. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Uh, on network marketing. Hey, if you don't have any money, if you don't have any relationships uh, to get a job, there are a ton of great network marketing companies out there. I work with uh, a ton of them uh, for people. And the reason is it's a great way for those people that have one thing in them to be successful. And it's a guaranteed success. You go ahead and pick a credible uh, you know, marketing network, marketing company, an MLM, and you have one thing, and that is the desire to be what you must be. You will kill it. It's that simple. It is a grind. It is a you know, literal grind to ask and attract every day. And it's simply those people in those network marketing companies that ask everybody how they can be of service of value. And most importantly, do you know anybody can help me? Um, I think that Elevate Company is a network marketing company. People are just killing it, uh, selling happiness. I'm all over that, by the way. Uh, so go ahead, reach out to my boys. Um, Wix, Nicola, that's awesome. Let's get some more questions in here. They're loading up fast. Do I drop out of the university and scale my business? Please get on live stream. Omar, listen to me, my brother. I'm a both guy. Anybody out there on the either or side of things? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Like if you're on the either or, drop out of university, start my business. Um, Listen to me, both, right? Pick the one that has the most potential and stay focused, the legs feed the lion, but go ahead and make time for the second thing. Even if you don't do it at its capacity, you know, you can get that education. It's only gonna complement both the knowledge, complement the skills, enhance your desire and build your relationship capital. Just make sure economically that it's not too big of a drain where it's gonna drain the legs. Right, the legs feed the line. You gotta have cash and culture. You gotta have your values, your inventory, but you gotta have some fuel in the tank. Right? The legs feed the lion. Make sure that you're feeding the lion, even if it means you gotta go out to, you know, garage sales or eBay or wherever you are. The legs feed the lion. Fuel up and let's get going, everybody. It's time. It's not a time to sit around and wait. Uh, go find something to be productive. And if you can't find something, then just find somebody that you can help. It's that easy. Let's go ahead and see who else we can help here today. We've got a couple more minutes. I know I said I'd come on. I might stay a few extra minutes. This is too good all the time. We'll see who wants to come on. Uh, Adrian, nice to see you. Social media, Black Belt. Let's go. Anthony, good to see you as well. Thank you for always giving me the thumbs up. Meditation tips on when you are next live events. Hey, if you can't find your highest frequency, which is the, the neutral gear. Meditation is not just sitting around on headspace or with your you know, back vertical, breathing through the nose, out through the mouth. There's a million ways to find your highest vibration. It's just you got to make a practice of it to increase that vibration. Uh, sports tips. I've got tons of them. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, waiting to go live. That's okay. Jay Crave. Eric, thank you for the meditation tips on when you're in your next live events. Uh, meditation tips are breathe through the nose, out through the mouth, stay focused, 
Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to take one more question, and it's a Sunday. I will let everybody enjoy their Sunday. Um, we will go. I will. Uh, there we go. I know you. I know you know artists and have been around them. Is there any tips about elevating, elevating your, anything that you do? Look, whether it's art, uh, whether it's engineering, coding, whether it's building homes, you know, you need to develop the best skills, acquire the most knowledge, and have that must be what I can be desire. You need to ask every day, how can I be of service or of value as many people as you can that you can in person on the phone, especially on the phone today, toughness and telephone, uh, literally via email, every email and social media.